This is no ordinary camera. And no, I'm not talking about the black tape I put on it. If it wasn't for that, you wouldn't be able to tell what separates this camera from a run-of-the-mill DSLR. You see, under the covers, this camera has had its Bayer color filter array stripped off the sensor. Or, in other words, it can now only take pictures in monochrome. Welcome back to the Snappiness YouTube channel where I like to photograph with old cameras and especially special cameras. And that's exactly what we have here. This is my monochrome converted Pentax K5 II. I've been fascinated by monochrome cameras for a while now, both from a technical nerdy standpoint and an artistic one. This video will focus more on the artistic side of owning a monochrome camera. If you want a nerdy video, let me know. As I mentioned, on the surface, this camera is just like a normal Pentax K5 II. That's already one of my favorite cameras of all time handling wise, and the 16 megapixel sensor punches well above its weight. Because it's a relatively inexpensive camera and has that great sensor, it made a good candidate for conversion. But I've talked a lot about the K5 on this channel. The images are what I was most interested in. Being my first monochrome converted camera, I wasn't totally sure what to expect. And there are a few funny gotchas. For example, you can't just take JPEGs because the camera will attempt to apply the same processing it would if it had a Bayer sensor intact. And the images come out really poor quality that way. So you can only shoot in RAW. But before you open the RAW file in any program, you first need to process it through a special program that modifies the file to let other editors know to skip the demosaicing process. Beyond the quirky workflow differences, it's just like shooting any other camera. Except instead of being able to choose between color and black and white photos after the fact, you are limited to only monochrome. The merits of this have been long debated, and I welcome you to share your thoughts in the comments. I will tell you that it feels a lot like shooting black and white film, in that instead of taking pictures and deciding on the format later, I'm thinking about what pictures suit the medium I'm working on. Whether a picture is better in color or black and white is ultimately subjective, but I think everyone can agree they usually have a preference for a given photo and reasons behind that preference. And you unlock something special in your brain when you intentionally look for stunning composition in monochrome. I encourage you to try it. Shoot JPEG only and set the profile to black and white. Really limit yourself. That brings me to why anyone would pay for a monochrome camera when you can convert any color picture from any camera to black and white. The answer is both practical and technical. I already covered the practical part about limiting yourself, but there's also technical advantages. Without spoiling the more in-depth nerd talk we could have in a later video, a camera sensor that has been debayered will register quite a bit more light and resolve a bit more detail. To illustrate that point, here's a brief comparison between my converted K5 II a normal K52S, and the brand new Pentax K3 Mark III. The gains in high ISO performance is mostly due to having over a stop more light information, even at the same aperture. But should you have your camera converted to monochrome or buy a monochrome camera? That's up to you. But in truth, I don't think there's much of a good reason to. While there are even technical advantages, most good post-processing techniques could even the playing field. And the artistic and creative aspect can be easily mimicked in other digital cameras or just by shooting excellent black and white film. Now that my brain is done talking, I will tell you that I absolutely adore this camera, and I'm excited to keep it as a unique camera and special tool in my creative arsenal. Thanks for watching. What's your opinion of monochrome cameras? And would you ever get one? Let me know in the comments, and remember to go out there and take cool pictures wherever you are and with whatever gear you have. 
Until next time, happy snapping.